46 games and 13 straight wins. Can you just lend some perspective to that? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're clicking on all cylinders. Uh, I think um, uh, we're just we're, – we're grinding away the, the opponent. I think it's – um, it's kind of like the only a matter of time as we all stick to uh, our plans coming into the game and uh, making the right adjustments uh, as we see uh, the game developing as well. Your last 22 games, you've been locked in. What has made you so locked in at the plate? Um, I'd say... Uh, just making sure I'm seeing the ball well, uh, being being quick and not powerful. That's the uh, that's the, the the best way I can I can attest to it. Just make sure my barrel gets there and don't try to swing with my body. Um, just uh, be quick, get the barrel in the zone at the right time. I'm just curious. Do, do you ever see the reactions of your teammates when you hit some of these home runs? Because the reactions tonight were pretty much off the charts. Huh. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you look back at the video, um, which I will later here when I do my studying, uh, yeah, you see some some funny little tidbits there. So, uh, yeah, that'll be my um, right before bed homework. <laughs> and then the stat cast there are since 2015. Uh, you've hit nine home runs of 470 feet or more. There's no one else with more than four. What does that mean to you? Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, uh, luckily we have all these these uh, extra stats and cool things to kind of pile up. Um, so, yeah, I mean, when, when it's all said and done, I think it'll be some cool things to look at. But, um, yeah, for me, I mean, it's just – uh, I put the team up by run and helped us stay stay on top and get the win. So I don't, I don't care if it's right over the fence or 1,000 feet over. It doesn't matter. Thanks, John Carlo. Any other questions for John Carlo? Eric Bullock. John Carlo, do you guys talk about the streak at all? Uh, yeah, I mean, or, you know, I wouldn't say we're like one at a time, but we're, we, we discuss like, um, what it's, what it's took, um, to get here and, you know, that, um, how, how we've all fed off of each other, how, um, the, the work that's, that we've all put in and, and it's cool to see it develop. And, you know, we, we've gotten, we've gotten, um, some close games, some blowouts, but, uh, you know, the, the confidence and the, the determination to, to be on top at the end is, is bar none. We've got Luke Boyd waiting in the wings. We can take the remaining questions in queue. Hey, Giancarlo, do you and Judge or Gallo or Boyd ever give each other crap about who can hit the ball the farthest? Is there any ever playful competition like, oh, I'm stronger than you, I hit farther home runs, things like that? Um, I, I think we're always messing around of, you know, uh, uh, is that all you got? Or, you know, is that you only hit a solo or this and that, or, but, um, it's mostly praise, man. I mean, we, we know how difficult it is, no matter how much power, uh, any of us have, we know how difficult this game is and, um, how important we are to, um, the success uh, of everybody around us. So, um, it, it's fun in games and, and respect also. Thank you. Next, Marley Rivera. Um, hi, Dan Carlo. Your last loss was that loss in Iowa, which obviously, you know, you had a very good game, but the result uh, was not the ones you guys wanted. Does that loss, which is the last one you had, seem like it was a very long time ago? Yeah, it does, actually. Um, just for what we've been able to do since then, and, um, you know, it kind of was a long time ago, two, two weeks, so... Uh, and in and, and baseball days, that's a long time. We played a lot of games between them. So, uh, yeah. Thanks.